Hi, yeah, my name is Randeep Singh and um, I'm part of one of the founder members of SWAP who we started off as um, a youth project to educate the youth about the dangers of drugs and we then diversified ourselves into basically we stumbled across a, the homeless project in Southall and um, the way we came about the project in Southall was we were introduced to a homeless man in Southall and he came to us and he said we need help when I looked at this man to me he reminded me of my father an old gen Sikh gentleman very dignified and um, you know he, he came to us he said I need help I'm sleeping on the streets." so we you know between about five of us we put money into a pot we got him a room and <clears throat> the next day he came to see us and he said I've got another five friends who are homeless so we said all right okay let's see what we can do for them we might be able to help them so the next day he brought five people to us and we saw them and we thought you know what we're not actually going to be able to help these people because we haven't got we've got limited funds we can't start supporting them and start housing all of them so what happened was um we sat with them and we talked to them and we discovered that a lot of these people were they had they had drug issues they had alcohol issues they had mental issues they had psychological issues anyway what we decided to do with the, the with the people that had been presented to us was we thought look they're sleeping out they're cold they're going to possibly be hungry during the night so we had a collection of clothes so the way we supported them was by giving them clothes we gave them sleeping bags, we gave them jackets, we gave them socks, hats, scarves, gloves and we gave them dry food to keep them going through the night. A, a week after we had helped these guys we were presented with another 20 and the week after that there was another 20 and a week after that there was another 20 so probably over a period of a month we discovered there was about 150 homeless people in Southall um, and that's how we kind of came across this project this evening basically what's happened is um, I received a phone call from somebody from Warsaw and they phoned up and they said to us that we want to help, we want to help your cause. So we said okay, they said what would you like? We said you know we need jackets, we need dry food, we need clothes. The next morning I had a phone call and say we've got a hundred jackets, we've got a van full of supplies for you to bring down to Southall tonight. I was quite taken back by this, I thought, you know, that's real dedication for somebody to kind of overnight to produce a hundred jackets, hire a van and come to Southall from Warsaw, that shows real, real dedication and it shows concern that a lot of people out there are actually concerned about this, this situation, about this homelessness in Southall. So <clears throat> what we did, we've gone out, um, we've parked up at Havelock Road outside the Gudwara, um, We've spread the word that there's people coming down to distribute jackets for the homeless, to distribute food and clothes. And very, very quickly the word's gone out through the homeless that there are going to be jackets coming. Because we've been trying to get hold of jackets now for the last few weeks and we're struggling to get the jackets. So when they realise that there's a, there's a van coming full of jackets, you know, there's lots of the homeless guys actually turned up. So we parked up. We've started, um, we've distributed the jackets out, we've given them clothes and you know they've tried the jackets onto size, they're really happy that they've got the jackets. Then what we've done is <clears throat> we've driven out of Southall onto the boundaries of Southall into Norwood Green and then into Heston where there's a bridge where there's about 30 homeless guys that sleep, mainly Punjabi. And um, we've gone up there, we've talked to them, we've distributed jackets clothes and food to them as well okay so we've just come to Hayes now and this for me is the first time I've actually come to this part of the Hayes where these homeless guys see I've never actually been here before and um, you know I was quite actually shocked to see where they're sleeping they're actually sleeping right next to a canal actually on the on the on the actual edge of the canal and um, you know there's I think we must have, I think there's probably about 15 of them that are sleeping there. So we, we've woken them up and um, we've said to them that we've got the jacket so you know they've, they've kind of been 
the, you know, I, I personally thought that if we're going to go down here to then disturb these guys, they're going to get upset with us because of what happened with the Sikh channel. So I was kind of a bit kind of cautious about approaching them just in case we upset them. But they were right about it. You know, they came down, they, they came out of where they were sleeping. They followed us up to the van and, um, you know, the Sevadars here have distributed the jackets to them, given them food, they've given them crisps and stuff. So they're quite happy with that. Different ways that people can help the cause for the homelessness in Southford. Um, you can you can do local collections in your area, and come to Southford and drop them off for us. Um, you can come down, and you can help distribute. You can email us at swathomeless at hotmail dot com. You can donate. You can send us money. You. We've got a PayPal account which you can use, which is swathomeless at hotmail.com, or we've got a SWAT bank account. We are a registered charity, um, so and you know if there is any money that you guys do donate, it will definitely go to a really really good cause and to some very very desperate and vulnerable people. <laughs>